here this morning, guys. We're going to do some 40 caliber ballistic gel tests. We're going to be using some Corbon 135 grain jacketed hollow point. As you can see there, we got six serrations. Pretty nice looking round, really. I'm sure Corbon makes them. But the biggest thing we're going to do today is not so big at all. We're going to be firing that out of the baby Glock, the Glock 27. We're going to start some 40 cal short barrel. Been using a 23 mid barrel. Been getting a lot of requests to do some short barrel, and I thought it fitting. Light for caliber load, 135 grain. Let's check out what these core bonds can do in the baby Glock. Okay, guys, here we go with the core bond, 135 grain, starting off the short barrel 40 test. Glock 27. Let's check it out, guys. Well, it's in there. Let's go check it out. Okay, guys, you can see there where that 135 grain 40 cal went in. Dumping denim right there. It looks like rapid expansion right about the one. Dumping denim. That wound track is massive in this thing. Just massive. One in and exploded. That wound track goes right from right about one inch. And this thing is massive. Wait for the side cut on this. About down to nine. But I do notice, looks like a little piece of jacket separation right there. We go on down, streamlines, hits that second block. There it is down in the gel. It looks like it's right at 14. Maybe 14 and an eighth. Let me get that up out of there so you guys can see it. Okay guys, there you guys have it. 40 Smith & Wesson, 135 grain jacketed hollow point just mushroom back it, it exploded inside of there i'll get weights and measurements in post but that round damn near folded back the lead into the back side of that thing just a wicked round check that out guys of course i'll get close-ups of all this and i'll get a side cut so you guys can see that damage damn good round light for caliber 135 grain shot out of the short barrel glock 27. okay guys here's that side cut of that core bond 40 smith and wesson 135 grain you can see there it was massive. You see there less than the one inch mark goes in and just starts blowing it up. Yes, we got jacket separation, we got some lead separation, but it's blowing it up down through there. You guys can see there the peak of it right at about four and a half. Look how big that thing is. It goes down below the ruler there, just twirling in, cutting up big time, dumping denim goes on down still twirling in we're right there at the seven mark you can see there it's starting to taper down just a little bit goes on down some more starts to almost streamline we lost a little piece of something there and then it goes on down to its resting spot right there at that 14 and a quarter mark see a little piece of the jacket I recovered there Massive piece of little bubble gum looking core bond 135 grain jacket at hollow point kicking butt out of a small Glock 27 guys short barrel test first one many more to come the core bond 135 grain weights and measurements and posts. Okay guys we're at the post of that first 40 Smith and Wesson short barrel test fire out of that Glock 27 you see right there Paired up with the Core Bond 135 grain jacket at hollow point. Damn good results. I thought it was a damn good pairing. Light for caliber load, short barrel 40. You guys seen the test. You guys seen the gel. You seen that wound cavity. It was kicking butt. The piece of bubble gum. That's a hell of a round. Mushroom back perfectly folded in, kept on driving. This was a little tack driver. You seen it. 0.679 that's kicking butt max expansion 14 and an eighth penetration 135 grain short barrel awesome round guys weight retention we lost some 119.1 we've seen some of it fragging in parts of the gel there and there adding more trauma the main core here 14 and an eighth I'll take it all day long out of a short barrel like that that's packing 
10 rounds. Take it all day long, guys. 119.1 rate retention. Yes, it lost some. These core bonds are not bonded. They never claim to be. I thought it was a damn good pairing, especially for the first short barrel 40. A lot more to come. Got a new box. We're ready for more, guys. Core bond, 140 grain. <laughs> core bond, 40 Smith & Wesson, 135 grain. Let's go about it that way. This short barrel 40, Glock 27. More to come, guys. Stay tuned.